Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you are new to my channel, welcome so much. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Also, I am an author. If you'd like to check out what my books are about, all the links for that are in the description box below. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome, everyone. Um, I'm so happy that it is springtime. This is my favorite time of year to decorate. Uh, for my tarot table. That's why I've got my unicorn alicorn out here. I've got my fairies. I've got my gnomes out here. And I found these awesome, awesome butterflies here. Those are so cute. I love them so much. Okay. So um, this is not the Earth's uh, reading. We're going to do readings from Mother Earth a, a different time. But today we're using uh, the Forest of Enchantment tarot that has to do with um, fairy tales and stuff from the UK, from Europe. It's, oh man, I love it so much. I love that freaking deck we're going to use the oracle of the unicorns the oracle of the fairies and the botanical inspiration which is an oracle with flowers okay so these are some of my very favorite decks that's one of the reasons i'm very excited today i love 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 these decks okay so let's see what's going on here for gemini feel like you guys have been working hard feel like maybe it's starting to feel a little overwhelming for you let's see what the cards want to say for you or to you wow that was fast okay the keeper of boons in the reverse king of pentacles in the reverse you're feeling a little ungenerous perhaps or someone near you is feeling a little ungenerous, um, a little bit bossy, a little bit, yeah, okay. You got the child of boons, and then you've got the uh, the forest lord, the emperor, in the reverse. So you've got some distorted um, masculine energy going on here. There may be um, a masculine in your life that is giving you grief. Let's see what. Ah, all right. Oh. The lovers in the reverse. Okay, so this is your card. Um, you're 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 feeling some kind of separation. Okay, so you may be separated or divorcing. Um, not or not feeling like yourself because you, you there's some imbalance going on here with um, the forge, which is temperance. It's in the reverse. So so far, you've only got one card that is upright i would like one more card please spirit um okay this one is like this so here is our card the star all right so oh under the deck keeper of challenges in the reverse yeah okay there is definitely okay this guy is a jerk okay keeper of challenges um I'm sorry. I mean, this. I'm a Libra, so I'm an air sign too. Uh, this is an air sign king here. He's usually very stoic. He's not very emotionally available. He's most. He's very dry. He's. Um, but when he's in the reverse, he is just really mean. He says sharp things. He's. You know. He's not maybe using his intelligence as much. He's. He's just kind of a jerk so what you've got here he's he's really cold as well oh my goodness okay and so underneath here what we've got is the four of boons this is one of my least favorite cards in this deck because this is about greed okay so um they're they're both in the reverse though so maybe this person or you has been fighting this type of energy oh look there's the six of boons below that this is the good energy of good karma coming towards you so let's let's check this out here these i just i gotta get all three of them here because so this is basically the emperor the forest lord he is a um this is aries energy uh child of boons which would be the page of pentacles okay so there's I'm feeling like this is a new job, okay? But there's somebody here. This king of pentacles is... Um, 
this person is generous and kind, but when he's in the reverse, he is greedy, he holds back, just like that four of coins energy that we saw underneath the keeper of challenges. So um, there's, there's a distorted masculine energy in, in that's going on right now. This could be a boss, you know, because this child of boons here, uh, it could be a new job, but it could also be a message. Um, so this is, uh, this is this, the distorted masculine energy, okay? This is um, manipulation, anger, um, just everything. This is war tendencies. This is, um, gosh, you know, and, and this is greed. And uh, All right, let's see what else we can get here. I don't like to put too much energy into the more negative aspects of your reading. Now, wow, okay, so everything down here is major arcana, all right? So this is major arcana up here. So it's saying basically the main energy that you have going on here is this distorted masculine uh, is messing with you, okay? Either it's your energy or somebody else's distorted masculine energy is, is messing with you. It is making you separate from the person that you love or you're just not feeling like yourself. Okay, this is, this is separation. This, I'm sorry, this is separation. This is the, the divorce. This is not being together with your partner. But since this is your card, Gemini, usually when I get um, a signs card, major arcana card in their own reading and it's in the reverse, you are off balance. You are um, not feeling like yourself, okay? And then it, what we've got here is the forge. Now, like I said, the forge is um, temperance. And that's when your masculine and feminine energies are out of balance. Okay, so the, I'm not surprised to see that because we've got the reversed emperor. So you don't even have to guess which of your, uh, which of your energies is out of balance here. It's obviously the masculine energy because even this child of boons here is a boy. And, you know, this has nothing to do with gender, but that is masculine energy. All right. And so then what we have here is the Aquarius energy of the star. This is, um, this is star energy. This is all your hopes and dreams coming true. This is you possibly becoming a star. This is telling me to look at the stars. This is a, a message that I've been getting a lot from spirit and on a personal uh, level here to look up at the stars and to allow their light to enter through your eyes and the the part of our of our body that processes light is our pineal gland our pineal gland is what gives us dreams and hallucinations but it's also um, very much connected to our intuition it will show us visions of energy that's coming in okay of it, it will show us visions uh, if it's properly um, uh, developed so it's your intuition it's your psychic ability so go out and look at the stars to um, absorb and process the light that took billions of years or however long it took for the light to reach your eyes it's information we get information from light we get information from all around us okay so I really feel that what this is saying right here is that there, there's something to do with a message about money. There could be a message about job, your job, because Boons is all about your money. But um, you're, all of this is messed up because of this um, distorted masculine energy. Now, it, now, I suppose it could be that an Aquarius comes into your life and helps you out here. But I'm feeling like mostly you're being asked to focus on your hopes and your dreams. Look at how this elfin person is looking up into the sky. Okay. So understand your part of the universe that you're already a star yourself. It's just that you got to balance out this masculine energy. So let's see what the unicorns have to say here about what's up with this um, distorted masculine energy. Okay, you may be really uh, cranky right now. You may be saying things that you don't mean to people. Okay, or you could 
be getting ready to stop holding back. The, the four of boons is when you're holding back. These, these ogre wives made all these pies, but they don't sell them because they can't let go of them. They're greedy. They love their pies, and so they're not selling them, and it doesn't make any sense, right? So when it's, when it's upside down like this, this, is mean, this means not holding back anymore. So you may be saying, you may not be holding back anymore. You might be saying some really cutting things to people because it looks like your, um, your masculine, the distorted masculine energy in you is kind of out of control. It's either you or someone else. Like I said, you've got the king of boons here. It could be, oh, okay, I'm getting a message. You might not have as much money because of some sort of message you haven't received yet because of all this distorted uh, masculine energy. There could also be somebody um, in your life that is just causing you this trouble here. Let's see what the unicorns want to say. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised to see that one. All right, all they're giving me is one card, and that is delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Always expect the best, okay? So the, this is saying that, yeah, you've been probably stuck in anger, overthinking, um, dissatisfaction. Um, that's, and, you know, there could be warlike tendencies. There could be greed going on, holding back. I mean, we, <sighs> holding back and then not holding back in the wrong way. Okay, that's some, that's some serious um, imbalance going on there. Okay, so let's see what else we can get from the fairies. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, 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 man. It really helps me out. Thank you all so much to everyone who's already subscribed, everyone who comes to my channel. I love you guys. All right, nature signs. Okay, let's see. Okay, any more? All right, thank you so much. Okay, so... Nature's signs be receptive to the receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. Okay, so nature, go outside and just look around. You'll see signs. Start trusting in it. Start trusting in your um, your intuition more because nature has some messages for you, and they're going to be truthful. Look at all this blue. That's um, throat chakra energy. Throat chakra is speaking the truth, okay? Now, you can speak the truth in a way that is cutting, or you can speak the truth in a way that is intelligent, okay? That, you or somebody else, all right? Moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Okay, so like I've been saying, the moon energy is really strong, um, I, I got a giant migraine from it. Um, the, the moon energies are super strong right now. I, I've been getting this from the astrologers that I watch. I've been, um, you know, getting, I got this giant migraine on the full moon instead of doing my collective reading. And I got a giant migraine on the new moon prior to it. So um, this is just saying this moon energy currently really has just been really powerful. So pay attention to what goes on in your life uh, in regards to the moon cycles as well, okay? And, and then it, it um, talks about the ebb and flow of life, which is very Libra energy, very balancey, okay? Beginnings and endings, okay? And then what we have here, see, look at how these match too. There's, there's going to be, so, oh, okay, so what they're saying is go outside, but it may also be very beneficial, like I was saying, for you to go outside at night and look at these stars, okay? To me, these are all talking together okay i've been saying to everybody to go outside and just look at the stars and let their light come into you okay let their light come in to your pineal gland your pineal gland will um process it and then when you meditate you're going to get messages you're going to get messages from nature so i think this is very important for you to go outside at night and look at the stars and also the moon pay attention to how the moon um, is the, the energy is working in your life. And then journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. All right. Yeah. Okay. So hello, because when you do all that, like I just said, 
When you get your, when you finally get your intuition, all your hopes and dreams are going to come true. When you finally see clearly, when you get these downloads, you're going to go on a journey and you're going to become a star of some sort. You can become a star at your, at your place of work or, or whatever you do. You could be, um, you could have your own channel on YouTube. You could be a, some sort of influencer or content creator and you might take off. But you're definitely going to be going on some kind of journey, even if it's a deep journey within, to balance out this, this toxic masculine energy that you're battling right now, man. Just battling it. Like, if I, I just feel like if you consider yourself a feminine, um, th there may be a masculine out there that is just really giving you some trouble. You could be having some father issues as well. Your masculine en um, energies may be off because you have father issues. Okay, Nasturium. Victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. This is all about your, your um, yeah, I, I really think that for most of you, the, your, your distorted, your toxic masculine energy is just out of control right now. That or somebody in your life, their, their toxic, um, their masculine energy is just out of control. And it's so funny, not, you know, funny, funny, but victory and conquest are two things that the masculine energy does. They conquest for victory. Their the masculine energy is one of those is going to war uh, in order to protect. Okay, if you, if you don't know what masculine and feminine energies um, are, go ahead and look it up. It'll show you. Daffodil rebirth and new beginnings new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings holy moly guys okay you guys both you got messages from lao Tzu. these are both from lao Tzu. okay i mean i just got a message for libra where it was there was this message that was just a quote from unknown but you there's a lot of different look at this Underneath, honeysuckle, uh, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will wind thee in my arms, so doth the woodbine, the honeysuckle gently entwist. Uh, William Shakespeare. So, I, you know, this is the bottom of the deck. So this is also your um, message. Okay. You're going to have some domestic happiness and devoted affection here. So you may, this may, may very well be um, about a, a love connection but I'm also showing you how you've got these quotes here from different people. And what you've got here are two cards from Lao Tzu. So I'm thinking that you may need to look up Lao Tzu. Okay, look, look up this person and get some more information from this, this spirit. Okay, uh, I know it was, he was a person and all, but um, look it up. He may have more wisdom for you. All right, so that's what I have for you at this time, Gemini. Um, the, I real I... I'm so grateful you guys are here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.